Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to install and configure WordPress on Vista CP. So let's get started. First of all, uh, we need to create a user. Let's create a user. Let's say WPress WPress one two three. Let's give my email address WPress site. This is a typical first name and last name. Let's add this user and we have to log in with this user. Log in as user WPress or we can log out. We can completely log out from the control panel and log back in. Now, let's create our domain. Let's say our domain name will be WPress.com mail server guru .com. and this is the our um, web server IP or the control panel IP and we are not uh, giving this client uh, DNS and mail support from this control panel because we are not using this control panel as our uh, DNS server or mail server so let's add WPress dot mail server guru .com. this is our domain name okay let's add it okay if you can see wpress.mailserverguru.com and WordPress needs a database so let's create a database database DB and user is DB it, it will actually form like this username underscore the DB name and username underscore the DB username so wpress underscore DB this will be our DB name and username so let's give it a password press one two three you must and you should uh, use a strong password not like this we can send login credential to an email address right now we don't need it let's add it we can check our database by logging to the PHP my admin WPress DB username and password will be WPress123. So here we can see that our database is created, but we are not using this uh, database here manually. This database will be used by the WordPress. Okay, so now let's uh, download the WordPress. This is the site. Let's click the download tar.cz. So we have downloaded the latest WordPress. Now let's upload it to the uh, site's location. Let's go to the file manager, web, WPress public HTML let's delete these two files from here upload it this is the download location okay now extract extract to public HTML right so this is the full path okay but we need to move all these files from here to the previous directory actually so 
So here we can see that our uh, WordPress all contents are moved back to the public HTML folder. So we don't need the WordPress folder here. Let's delete it. And we don't need the tar.zz file. Let's delete it. These WordPress uh, tar.zz file extracted to the uh, wpress.mailserver.com's uh, this website's uh, main root directory. This is actually the root directory public HTML. So now if we hit the main site now wpress.mailserverguru.com it will uh, show us the installation uh, steps now wpress. Here you can see the WordPress installation page appears now it says the welcome to WordPress before getting started we need some information on the database you need to know the following items before proceeding database name username so let's go database name will be let's check it again wpress underscore db username same password is wpress123 Database host is localhost and table prefix wp underscore. That is okay. Let's submit and run the installation. If it can uh, connect to the MySQL database, then the installation will will begin. Okay, so it can uh, successfully connect. Now it says the welcome, welcome to the famous five minutes WordPress installation process. Let's put the site name. We can say this is our site name wpress.mailserver.com username is admin and this is the password confirm user with password your email search engine visibility right now we are not using this feature actually let's hit install WordPress here it says the WordPress has been installed thank you and enjoy so let's log into the WordPress CMS. Username is admin, password is admin. Here you can see that uh, we successfully logged in to the WordPress CMS. And if we browse the site, here you can see the Hello World page. So we have successfully installed WordPress on Vista CP. So thank you. And if you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.